Okay, YouTube, here's another video, uh, another project I've got. I was at the uh, local thrift store, and I found these audio engines, $19.99, $20 for two. And the thing that was scaring everybody off was the needs repair sign. So these are the audio engine model A5. Now, I, I took a chance because I knew they didn't work. And I figured, well, for 20 bucks, um, I looked them up online. I found out they're quite expensive. I thought I would take a chance and see what I could come up with. What I'll do next is I'll talk about what I found. I had to remove the back of this speaker to get in and see what had burned up in here. Something that I could fix uh, relatively easily. But what I what I found, and I was a little, I knew there was no saving the features of the amplified speaker. So this project is going to be about making these passes. The things I found was. This is a capacitor, and basically what has happened is it has swelled and it has popped, and there's a couple of others on the board here, and unfortunately, uh, because of the way the potting material was put on, there's no way I can get to these and see the values on them, or even stand a chance of replacing them, because it looks like they are all surface mounted. It's time to get on with so all of these plugs were plugged into various places on here some of the wires were already cut this is the power um, for the top panel here that says audio in and it had a usb charger so i disconnected the tweeter and i disconnected the woofer this was also a cable that was for the oh that that is for the uh, diode that was on the front to indicate that they had power so when i looked at these in the thrift store none of none of it worked uh, there's also a switch on the front here a rotary switch for adjusting the volume so what my quest is going to be is to turn the take these and turn them from an active speaker to a passive i mean you can see the uh the magnet on this woofer is pretty substantial uh, these are silk tweeters. They're carbon fiber woofers. So with all that being said, it's time to do some more. And I'll try and get this positioned in a way that I can see. What are you doing here? So this can go in the trash. This is that cap that was... Uh, popped and I'm, I'm i'm guessing that uh these speakers are probably about 10 or 11 years old high quality speakers the the boxes are very nice on them they're very heavy now the interesting thing i found when i plug these in uh, let me get this one out of the way here when i plug this in in the thrift store one of the things that I did find out was this fuse is good, this connection's good, and I was getting through voltage. But like I said, once I opened this up, there was very little that was that can be done to save this. So what I plan on doing is taking this board off. This is the crossover for the speaker. I looked in the other one and it's the same. I will probably cut this off with a Dremel tool right here. I will remove this heat sink. All of this stuff will come off. Uh, I got to make a decision. I may leave this on the back and cut some of this stuff off. I, I haven't thought about that yet. That will help with the soundproofing. But with all that being said, it's probably time to get going and see what we can come up with here. This is the crossover section of the board. The connections for the tweeter. Here's the connections for the woofer. And it might be, uh, I have to think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
if I take this out, this will greatly reduce a lot of the weight of... Yeah, it may be best to do all that. Remove all this stuff from the back. I have to keep these two because this will be the new speaker in. Yeah, let me get started on this and see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm back. I have this all cleaned up. Nothing but two cables. And like I said, this is part of the crossover. Um, so what I'm going to do is mount this back on here. Put the heatsink back on. And that will give this support. And uh, the wires on it will be the same length as they were originally. So I won't lose length. Um, what other thing? Okay, since I wasn't paying attention, and I don't know where the camera stopped, I'm going to recap some of what I've done. What I've done here. So I, I've taken the uh, power transistors or power ICs off of here, both sides. You can see right there. I took out some of the resistors. I enlarged this hole. I spliced some new wire onto it. These go down to the grounding logs, and I soldered them in place. Now, um, I basically kept this board because it keeps the back of this all closed up. Uh, everything else on the back of here is non-functional. This is disconnected. So what I'm going to do now is hook everything back up. Probably give it a test to see if I did good or how, things, how everything turns out. And there's not going to be any easy way to do this. Let me clear some of this mess out. Put some stuff away. Let's 
Thank you.